what's going on Taurus? Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, I'm so grateful to you. If this is your first time finding me, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, my loves. I'm going to tap in and try to see who's pulling on your energy, what's going on in your energy. Okay, so you want to take it how it resonates for you. You also want to put the energy on whatever side you need to. Okay, um, so I'm going to start off first. Spirit is bringing me here first. Okay, so we're going to start here. Um, this can be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to, okay? What do I need for Taurus, please? All right. All right, whoever this person is coming through, they're saying, you know what? I'm sorry for how I treated you, but my karmic would let me go, okay? Um, yeah, this, this karmic was doing black magic on me here. Whoever you are, I'm not worthy of you. I'm not worthy of your time, your attention, or your love, but I don't want you to walk away from me, okay? So with this energy is coming, um, the revelation that, this karmic is pregnant. That's probably why they're doing this um, black magic to keep this person stuck. Okay. And this person is regretting the decision they made. And they st they're feeling like they should have chose you over this person. Now, either Taurus, this is your energy or someone in your energy. Okay. Um, Taurus, you could be the one doing the black magic. This could be you. Um, you could be the karmic that someone does not want to let, let loose or that you don't want uh, your person to get away from you, etc. It could be you. Um, put it on whatever side, okay? But this is what it, what it is. Um, someone could have had a baby when they had a baby. Um, they could have decided that that the person uh, that they were with, um, they were going to do everything necessary to keep this person under their spell, under their jurisdiction. Um, for some of them, somebody could be dealing with somebody that works in law enforcement. Or they could have been saying, you know what? This person is going to be taking care of me, my bills, my livelihood uh, from now until, okay? Someone's hair may be falling out as well. I just saw a piece of my hair on on the table, which indicated to me that, that um, yeah, I had, this is the first time I saw it, uh, that someone may be uh, dealing with a little bit of hair loss, Okay. Um, now someone may be using someone's pieces of hair for this, um, spiritual work that they're doing. Okay. Um, so someone, yeah, stuck and stagnant. They're trying to make someone stuck and stagnant here and someone that is not going to back talk. Someone may have a mouth or someone may, may talk or someone may let someone know how they feel. Someone's trying to gag them here with this energy. Okay, yeah, you're going to be quiet. The spell work is for you to be quiet. The spell work is for you um, to be stagnant. You're not going to move forward. You're not going to leave me. You're not going to leave your child. You're only going to be about me, your child, and this situation here. Yeah, now someone is haunted about it, okay? Um, they're haunted by making a decision to choose someone over someone else. This is the card that's here. I'm regretting the decision I made. I should have chose you. Someone knows that they've gotten themselves into a lot of pain and they've been stuck in it for quite some time. Let's continue. Yep, this person is totally fixated on keeping this person in this relationship um, that is failed. It's been over for quite some time. You know, this person feels like there's a void in, in their life now um, and that they sold out instead of choosing the person uh, that they needed to or they gave their life to the devil. Bottom of the deck, we do have spell work here where someone is taking the power away from this person. Uh, thank you, Spirit, for giving me that clarif clarifier. Yep, these two people could be married, could be in some sort of alternative marriage. And if it's not uh, a marriage marriage, it could be a common law married uh, marriage, meaning, you know, you would have to check whatever that is in your state. Okay, yep, there's that law enforcement that I was feeling, okay. Um, somebody must have uh, found out that this person was doing things behind their back, okay. They now know that they're doing things to control them, Um 
right? We have subliminal shade as well. So someone may be indicating that someone can't move or that someone can't be in control of their life for whatever reason. Um, yeah, someone may be um, deleting messages right now and they may feel like someone's an attention whore. So in other words, I can't get away from this person. They want all of my time, all of my attention to be on them. Um, yeah, I do have a child with this person. Um, my uh, focus should be my child only, but it's not because this person won't let me go. Um, this is what's coming through, my loves. Let's continue, Taurus. Sending you guys the utmost love and light. I recent quick story. I recently met um, a person um, that had my name. And I met him in passing by just doing some, you know, searching on social media. And they had my first, well, my middle name, my last name, okay? All right, sorry about that. Something wonky happened with my phone. But I was telling you guys that I just recently met... Um, a very nice young lady that shared my name and we were talking and talking and talking and the crazy part you know me doing tarot and all is she asked me what my sign was right so I told her you know I'm a Sagittarius I'm an Afucus. Um and she says well I'm a Taurus and I said well go look at that <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh, wow. So, you know, we talked a bit. We was chatting back and forth over social media. You know, she told me a little bit about her life. She ended up telling me that she was actually from New Jersey, just like me, and lived not far from where I, uh, well, she used to live not far from where I currently live, but she had moved to like Ohio, I believe she said. So it just goes to show you, you know, um, a lot of times, and, and this story came about because spirit put it in my heart. A lot of times we say, I don't like people that are this sign or I don't rock well with this sign or that sign. And over the years, you know, with the Taurus men, you know, I had a good time. You know, you know, they were, you know, full of ego, you know, but for the most part, you know, I was attracted mostly to Taurian men, um, but the Taurian women. And I just seem to not mesh well, but going through, you know, everything I went through in my life and, you know, the awakening and, and all of that, I now know, you know, as a grown ass woman, that Taurus people triggered me in a way that I was meant to learn, that I was meant to really tap in and figure out what was going on. Um, of course, we have that in our birth charts and we have to know um, that these are signs that have went through us in some way. And it could be something that happened to us within one of our lifetimes that trigger us. OK, so you may not be able to figure that out unless you went to someone that does like past life regression. Um, but you need to understand that different signs will trigger you for different reasons. And, and it's not always, oh, I just don't get along with this person. It's something way, way, way deeper. But with all that said, with me speaking to someone that had my name, my exact name, um, and that they were a totally different sign than me, it was a little bit of closure for that. If you can understand, I'm like, oh, so you are me and I am you. Right. And that's really what it is. When a sign triggers us for whatever reason, it's because they're our mirror and the trigger is meant for us to see something within them that's in with us. You know, so, yeah, I just had to say that to someone here. OK, now let me continue. <laughs> I don't usually get a little deep, but um, I don't know why someone needed that here. But I was so grateful. You know, that I that I had that experience. I don't even know what made me, you know, um, start, you know, Googling my name, stuff of that nature. Um, but yeah, this is what I did. And this person popped up and, and I just started speaking to him. It was just wonderful. She was a sweetie pie. Okay, so we have five of, of wands energy here. Conflict, fighting, arguments, right? Disagreements, struggle. This is what someone's currently going through. Um, I feel like someone wants to be out of this battle, 
right? Their temper is being triggered all the time. There's that word trigger again. Um, a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict, um, a lot of having to be defensive about your views, about things you care about, etc. Um, this is something that's coming through. Um, you feel like someone um, is being a little bit territorial, right? So whoever this is doing this spell work is being very territorial with this person. Okay, uh, now Taurus, this could be you or someone in your energy. Um, so someone is being very ter territorial over a person. We also have Knight of Cups, right? This person that they're being territorial over wants to reach out to someone in a romantic nature. They want to offer something. They want to take an offer or take an action towards another person, but they can't because they're being manipulated um, like a marionette. Okay, from from whoever is doing uh, the spell work right now. Okay, so someone's a little frustrated because they can't do what they want to do. Right. Someone is juggling. They're juggling their natural life, the, the life that they have here. And they're juggling um, the life that they lead on the side. That's a little quiet that someone doesn't know about. Right. I'm doing the spell work. I'm not going to tell you I'm doing it. Right. But I'm juggling. Right. So I may be as sweet as pie in your face, but behind the scenes, um, I'm going to do what I got to do to try to hold you here to try to make sure that you're not doing anything else. Right. This lover's energy. Um, when I see this card, it could be three. Right. I feel like it's three. I'm not sure what other readers feel, um, but I have to go with what I'm feeling. Right. So, look, I feel that it's like three people. OK, so it's two two people that are in a relationship and then another person. And I feel like one of the people that's in a relationship is wanting another person. Um, but I feel like, you know, it's love all the way around. It's not that someone is not loved. It's love all the way around. But it's almost like I want to have a take a chance on someone new. I feel like that person over there is my true kindred spirit, not this person that I'm with. Um, or either we have a good sexual connection, we have shared values, etc. Someone may be feeling like this and can't get to the person that they would like to be with because of uh, the manipulations that's going on here. Okay, so we also have the judgment card. This is going to be a judgment. Someone's going to be, listen, not only is someone going to be judged for the things that they've done, okay? Um, someone's going to have to, to make a judgment about their life. Overall, what is it that you want for yourself? Overall, what is it that you see for yourself? How do you see your life going? How do you see um, things um, unraveling for you. And when I say unraveling, I don't mean in a bad way. How do you see things happening? You know, what is your life? You know, what is it to you? What do you see yourself doing? I feel like someone is thinking about that right now. And they may feel like another person that is not currently in their life really fits the bill. So they may want to take a new route towards this person. We have the chariot card here, right? I feel like I want to overcome this obstacle and use my willpower to overcome whatever spell work is being um, used against me and really take a route towards this other person, right? Someone may have to drive to this person or travel to this person, but they feel like, you know, they want to have the courage to go towards someone new or something new. This is the energy coming through. Now we have Leo energy. Uh, we have uh, Capricorn energy. We have Gemini energy. Judgment for me is always a Leo card. Just drop this card. Okay, up oh, this this wasn't upside down when it fell. That that's just me putting it that way. So it was upright. I was putting it down the wrong way because it slipped out of my hand. Now we have the nine of pentacles. Someone wants to go towards someone that is currently single. And this is probably the person that's been on their mind that they haven't been able to get to. Um, they feel like this person is moving very independently. They're wealthy. They're financially stable. Their life is going well. Um, and they, they are having like a life of abundance. That's the only way that I can explain it. Right. So they're making things happen. They're doing the things that they would like to do. And someone may be watching this from afar, 
Taurus. Okay, yeah, I want to go towards that person because I feel like their life um, is so is so much more than you know what I thought it would be, or maybe someone thought that this person that is single would not have had all the things that they have, or may not be doing as well as they were doing. Maybe someone thought going over to the, the side that they went to would be more lucrative for them. However, um, yeah, they're they're watching, you know, someone. Uh, from afar okay so we have the eight of wands energy and this is always a, a card of communication for me so i'm saying you know what i want to reach out i want to speak to them okay um someone could be wanting to speak to someone that has fire in their chart okay we also have um like i said we have virgo out here we have scorpio out here cancer out here energy uh leo energy gemini capricorn what else? Someone may want to reach out and they may do this over the holiday. Okay, we're going into a holiday um, soon, which will be Easter. Um, right, but someone may want to reach out um, to see if they can make something work with someone. Taurus card, right? We're coming into Taurus here, right? I'm looking at this. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for this. I want to know if this will be something that can work out. Um I've been thinking about this for a long time. You know, what do you think type of energy? Can we pour into this? Can we persevere? You know, someone may be saying that they were already to uh, make an investment in a situation or a, a relationship and they're willing um, to give it their all. OK, this is someone that wants to nurture something. Finally, something that they may have put down or passed over in the past. OK, um, so. You guys are going to have to make some decisions if this is you, Taurus, if this is a person coming towards you. But either way, this is the energy that I see. I'm sending you guys the utmost love and light. If anyone needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below. Take care.